Hello, uh, my name is Robert Porter. I'm from Northwestern University. I'm here to participate in today's workshop on screening methods. Uh, the, po the point of these methods are to detect cartels to guide antitrust authorities for areas of enforcement or alternatively for procurement agencies or other so sorts of agencies to redesign their procurement practices in the light of lack of competition. Um, there are two broad categories of screening approaches. The first is structural, where a structural screen focuses on the characteristics of an industry that seem to be conducive uh, to collusion occurring. Um, and, they, and essentially they ask where cartels are most likely to form based on the characteristics of those industries. The challenges for structural screens is that they tend to be fairly broad uh, to uh, cast too wide a net in some sense. The alternative or the second category are behavioral screens which instead examine uh, suspicious behavior and ask whether that behavior is uh, symptomatic of collusion or perhaps could, and alternatively could be explained with competitive behavior. <clears throat> For behavioral screens, there's no general detective prescription. In, 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 instead, one often has to adapt the method to the circumstances at hand. Um, the challenge for behavioral screens, therefore, is that they can be very data intensive uh, and in, intensive for, for their application. Um, and, and because one often requires quite detailed data on, on things like costs or various other factors that, that would um, allow to, one to draw a more definitive conclusion. However, the, the opportunity that's presented itself in the, in, in the recent past and ongoing is that a wealth of data has become available and uh, it makes the adoption of behavioral screens m more feasible. Uh, and the hope is that uh, appropriately applied, they'll be more widely adopted.